Hello everyone. I look like a sweaty, greasy mess, but I am vlogging tonight. Um, my roommates are out. Yeah. I don't really like vlogging when my roommates are here just because I don't want to shove anything in anyone's faces. But I'm really excited because I saw this thing on TikTok where it's like... <laughs> Okay, listen, I don't like pranking channels and I am not a pranking channel. However, this prank could potentially be so oh! Oh, one second. Hello My roommate basically was calling me to ask for a favor. I Don't do favors. Yeah, I can. Okay. One second. I gotta go do something for my roommate. I'll be right back Okay, let's go. I'm coming. She wants me. Okay, hello. Okay. The small one? The small one? The, you want the small one? Does it have like the patterns on the side? So not the bear. I keep on getting interrupted when I'm trying to tell people what I am doing today. Okay, so I'm finally alone. Except for him. Wobble. Go. 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 Who's next? Who's next? Oh wait, we also can't forget. We also can't forget. Shoo! Go. Go. Go, who's next? Go, go, go. Basically, it is like six o'clock and I need to do this before it turns dark outside, but basically, I'm going to prank my mom because I saw this thing on TikTok where people are calling their parents and be like, hey, I got pulled over by the police and they're asking me why I'm speeding. And I said, it's because you fell. And now they followed me because they're concerned too. So I'm on my way, can you please pretend to fall? <laughs> And I know this sounds so stupid, but I'm gonna fucking do it because it's gonna be funny. Who's next? And then we're gonna have a night to ourselves and I'm gonna cook later and it's gonna be fun. But I have to do this now. So let's get ready. Pup, 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 pull up to the party. Like, pup, pup, pup. Pull up to the party in my crazy pink wig. Okay, I know the lighting is very bad, but I am about five minutes away from my parents' house. Bitch, I'm fucking nervous. Oh my God. Um, I'm about to call my mom. Okay, girl, I have a case of the Gigos. About to call her. Oh, fuck. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? She's an actress. Watching TV. What are you doing? <sighs> oh my God. What? So I went to go to Sam's Club and I was pulling out and I guess I swerved a little bit. Like I pulled around too fast and I got pulled over. And wait, wait, what now? I got pulled over for going a little bit too fast and the cop was like, why are you speeding? And I panicked because I'm over here and I, yeah. I was like, well, my mom lives down the street. Oh, oh my God. I don't know if you can hear it, but my parents landline in the background was going insane. And it was really ruining the pranking mood. Just like, come from. I'm like, shut up. Anyways. Let's continue. I said my mom lives down the street and she fell because she broke her femur last year and she can't get up. And? Mom, he's following me. He's following you? Yeah, and he, he was like, okay, we'll go together. So he's fucking mm. coming, so I need you to be on the ground. <laughs> Where do you want me to be on the ground? I don't care anywhere. I'm so upset. Wait, where do you want me to be? Mom, anywhere. Like in the driveway? No, like inside. Oh, okay, okay. Are you coming now? Yes, I'm like five minutes away. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Let's go. God, I, I don't know if she fell for that, but let's just okay, do it. Okay, I'm here. I'm very nervous. Shit, okay, let's go. I'm so... <laughs> Mom? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, fuck! Wow, she looked dead. I hate you. You know that. Oh, my God. God damn it. Ow, ow. That is so funny. Are you just joking? Duh. Oh my god, that was so oh. <laughs> Look at you look dead. Go away. How are you? Go away. I thought you were for real. It's cause I'm an actress. You're such an actor. You're so good at it. Another job done. So I pranked my mom because I'm a prankster. <laughs> pop 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 prankster. I can't believe you pranked me. I was really <laughs> you know I'd do anything for you, but damn, Kaylee. Really? <laughs> 
Go away. Go away. <laughs> I'm surprised you got your ass down there. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to edit this. In the uh, <laughs> she looks dead. What the hell? Hi. Okay, so hello everyone. I actually filmed the first part of this video a few days ago. It's a little later and I wanted to sort of piggyback on that and continue vlogging. So that's what we're doing. Yes! Yes, God! Can you see that ass? Can you see it? Yeah, that's right. How you nut, but you barely put the tip in it. Okay, um, I was gonna cook, but I think I wanna order in. Eat! Ordering in is my favorite pastime. I'm gonna order food. Pip Pip Cheerio! Um, I don't know what I want. I always want Korean food, like 100% always. There's not a lot of like notable Korean places in the area where I live, but the area of town I grew up in has some. <laughs> I just get so many feelings when I think about Beaufort Highway. <laughs> Beaufort Highway in Atlanta has so many beautiful, beautiful restaurants, but they don't deliver. And I'm not about to go over there. So I just try to get McDonald's. I think I want McDonald's. That's literally how my dad pronounces McDonald's. He says McDonald's. <laughs> oh my God, I think my neighbor's coming up the driveway. Everyone be quiet. <laughs> how you not, but you barely put the tip in it. Yo, please explain to me how this hot dog, okay, first of all, you know, I'm a fan of hot dogs, but please explain to me how this hot dog looks appetizing. You know what I look like right now? I feel like when I go like this, like that blob. <laughs> that blob meme. Leave it in the comments down below if I remind you of a bl bl blob. Don't want Oatle. I want. I might want Oatle. And for those of you who don't know, Oatle is Chipotle. Oh my god! I literally came across this woman on TikTok. When people are like, "Why do white people mispronounce Chipotle?" This white woman. <laughs> This white woman on TikTok, it's the white woman. I don't know if you're uh, familiar with TikTok, but there's a woman who eats carrots, raw carrots and like mustard. Uh, and she's always sharing her unseasoned gross meals. Just like no flavor looking ass meals, you know? I've never eaten at Chick-fil-A or Chipotle. <laughs> Stranger. <laughs> that TikTok trend that's like, I wanna feel like a virgin again. Stranger. <laughs> feel like a ver wait feel like a virgin again stranger oh <laughs> my big ass hello everyone so i'm here and i'm filming a mukbang i haven't really done one in a while i don't really eat vegan often but when i do i always order it from my favorite vegan place i've been ordering from this place for years. It's called Cafe Sunflower. I wanted to sit down and talk and like do like a Q&A, but I got a disturbing message that kind of ruined my mood and I'll tell you why. But first, they have these things called the Buffalo Lollipops. Yeah, bitch! They are the best things I've ever had in my life. I'll show you what they look like. Get into it. Get into it! And then they were having a buy an appetizer, get an appetizer free, bitch. So I got these dumplings. Oh, yeah! I'm overwhelmed, okay. Mm. So this disturbing message I fucking got, I log on my Instagram and I get this message from this person who was only following one person, that's me. And it was like an anonymous account, you know, with the, with the no picture have an ass, right? So I click the message and I'm not gonna say what they said because they definitely were going, were trying to get a reaction out of me or something. And it clearly was, the message said like, was basically talking crap about my co-host Courtney. So if you guys don't know, I have a podcast that I love doing with my best friend Courtney. Deep Fried the Podcast is us. But this person was just basically talking so much crap about Courtney, was saying all these really terrible things about her, just saying all these horrendous things. I'm like, you don't know her. It really upset me and it kind of ruined my mood. But like at the same time, I was like, sit. Don't hide behind an anonymous account. Stupid ass. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. My god. My god. I've never had their dumplings, but I'm gonna try them now. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that hits different. Oh, that's good. Miss Sunflower Cafe, I love you. So I asked you guys to ask me questions. My god, I'm sorry. I'm just like absolutely horny over this food. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, this person just asked me, at what age did you find out you were lonely? Okay. 
Well, I think maybe they were trying to say, at what age did you find out you like to be lonely? That's probably how they were trying to say it. Oh, baby, baby. Look at that bacon. Fake as fuck, but so good. I love bacon, y'all. I really do, but this ain't bad. Um, I always like being alone. I'm a homebody. I think it's in my blood. I also like going out. It's like, the older I get, the more I realize I like socializing, so. Introvert and extrovert. <laughs> so, due to some circumstances, I had to take everything upstairs. Being lonely was never like, Ugh. Well, actually, growing up, I think adults made it seem like every single kid is supposed to be like this outgoing child. And if you're not, there's something wrong with you. So I definitely weighed heavy on me. But the older I got, I was like, fuck it. I'm good. <laughs> Someone asked what my biggest fear in life is. Oh, that's always a good one. Um, I don't know. I think everything. <laughs> so this is what they look like. Let me show y'all. Oh, Ooh, I don't know if you can see it, but ooh. So they're really good with the homemade like vegan ranch these bitches make, which is also very good. It's so cute. They put it on a bone too. Mm. Like my biggest fear being unsuccessful in something I love, which also brings me to my other question that I received. If you weren't a YouTuber slash video editor slash podcaster, then what would you want to do? I'm not sure if that's sad or not, but this is it y'all. I want to know how your mental health is doing. Um, I have my days definitely. Some days I'm sitting pretty living life. Other days I can't get out of bed. So <laughs> yeah, being alive is just suffering. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not that. Just, you know, with the pandemic and shit, like, everything is hard. Um, It makes everything, like, you gotta, like, second guess every decision you make, which is, like, stress-inducing in itself, so. Why is Waffle named Waffle? I kind of already picked out the name Waffle. I was either gonna do Waffle or Hash Browns because I knew someone from high school who had a dog named Hash Browns. So I'm like, that's it. That's the name of my dog. If you don't know about the story about my dog, basically I was gypped, which is my fault. Like this is 100% karma for not adopting a dog and trying to like cheaply buy a dog from a breeder. That is my fault. I've recognized how shitty that was. Kind of unaware on how adoption worked, so. Basically, I went on Craigslist. I saw an ad for a golden doodle. I said, cool, this is a very cheap golden doodle. I go, I get the dog. The dog is not a golden doodle. It's like a Maltese or something, so. I also want to mention that the woman who sold me waffle had the audacity to send me photos of waffles, quote unquote, parents. Stupid. How's living in Atlanta? Do you ever plan on moving to a new city? I love living here. I think it's great. Um, I am definitely biased because any <laughs> any chance I get to talk about Atlanta, fucking I take that shit. I was born and raised here, if you must know. <laughs> Whoa. I feel such a sense of community here. I'll definitely travel. I definitely like have roots here, so I don't really want to leave that, especially because like it's really hard to like build a community, you know? Like when you go somewhere and you don't know anyone there, it can be so hard to put down roots and look at her. She's so mmm. Mmm. Clean that bone, bitch. I feel like I'm on a first date where it's like kind of awkward. I don't know why though. I uh, really hope that's not my face when I eat at a restaurant because then I will never leave my house again. All right, so the last couple of minutes of that meal was worthless. I didn't say anything, I just ate. But I think that's all I'm gonna do for this video. I'm pretty full, I ate pretty much everything. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Be kind to yourself. Uh, hope everyone has a great rest of their lives. Good night and good riddance to all my friends.